Yo, what's up everyone, Water Bear here, and uh, one of my students here below uh, had a question um, that said, well, I need to understand what modulation is in a piece of music. Okay, real quick, um, the easiest way of referring to modulation would be a key change, okay? So if I'm in a song, let's say that I'm, uh, I don't know, let's be in the key of A major, ready? So A major. Let's go to the fourth. D minor 7. I want to modulate the key of A minor, it's simple, just make it your A major chord, a minor chord, right? Now I'm going to key of A minor. Let's do this B minor. Okay, now people are always asking me, Walt, well, how do I modulate uh, from one key to the next? And the answer is just do it. Okay, so, but there's also certain tricks, there's certain, um, you know, things that you can do that will make the modulation sound a lot smoother. So if I'm going to the key, if, if I'm in the key of G, okay, and um, let's say that I want to go to the key of G sharp, easily I can go... Okay, but now if I want to, let's say, go from the key of G to the key of like C sharp minor, maybe there's a better way, there's a smoother way of doing it. And the answer is, you know, clearly people always kind of, kind of use this as, not so much of a cop out, uh, but just because it works, is to use seven chords. Dominant chords always want to move, okay? It creates that tension and release. So when I create uh, a dominant chord in a, a piece of music, like, you know, let's say, um, you know, um, you know, okay, so that the, so that the five chord of, um, of the key of C, of the key of C sharp is actually going to be G sharp seven, okay? So if I go here... So if I actually wanted to go from the key of G to the key of C sharp minor, the best way of doing it perhaps is going from the key of G to the key of G sharp, then throwing in my G sharp and change that from G sharp major to a G sharp seven, and that goes to C sharp minor. So using modulation is huge, and you know, try and write some music using your own modulation and, and you know things like that. Is that uh, it's a very common thing too is to use modulation to actually not only change the key of a song, but to change the entire feeling of that song. So if I change from the key of G to let's say the key of um, you know C, then um, you know let's maybe make the key of C section, like the chorus part, right? Let's make that like a heavy part, you know, very dramatic, and maybe let's make like the soft part the key of G. So we have something like this, you know. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so, like, I mean, like, that's, like, the idea of using key signatures to change the context of the song, to change the feeling of it, and, you know, also, um, you know, you don't have to use power chords or things like that. You can also, like, you know, finger pick. You can, uh, you know, even change the actual instrumentation. Maybe the guitar players play the verse, and then the bass player 
plays the chorus, you know, like you drop the guitar part out. So, so those are all big things that, you know, you can kind of jump on, try and get used to it, and the best way of doing it is to keep on doing it, right? Uh, so that the best way of playing guitar is keep practicing guitar, the best way of, of, of writing songs is to keep on writing songs, and, uh, you know, the best way of succeeding is to never give up. And there you guys got it, um, your daily music lesson with Walt, subscribe, rate, and comment, and I hope that gave you guys a little bit of a heads up. Uh, more on modulation at my website, waltrivera.net. Alright, peace.